it's Lauren Perot from Remax with your weekly home update for the Portland metro area with data through the week ending October 6th, including Vancouver, Washington. Sorry this is delayed today as I've just returned from a European vacation and had to catch up. It sure taught me that Portland is probably the best place to live ever. Is Portland strong buyer demand holding up as mortgage rates rise back to 6% and beyond? Let's take a look at the most recent statistics and trends. The average sales price was down about 4% from the previous week. That is fairly typical for this time of year. It is worth noting that in a normal market cycle for Portland, the highest average sales price occurs during a week in May or June, after which sales prices fall for the rest of the year. The ever important year over year numbers indicate where appreciation or depreciation is headed. At this point, the average sales price has risen by approximately 3.4% over the previous year. This is slightly better than what we saw near the end of September. Looking at the supply numbers, the number of homes available to buyers increased by about 1%. Again, relatively normal for this time of year. The number of homes that entered the for sale market for the first time increased from the previous week, but it remained lower than the same period last year. Supply is not keeping up with demand. However, price reductions are still in high demand. The weekly numbers we are seeing here are approaching the 12 month high we reached about a month ago. Buyer demand has continued to far outpace what we saw last year at this time. The numbers are still up 17% from 2023. It's just a coincidence that they're both 17. So let's move on to mortgage rates. Mortgage rates were rising and they appear to have peaked at around six to six and 1.25, six and an eight. That's the best case scenario based on the best rate I could find advertised on Thursday morning for a 30 year fixed mortgage. Most lenders probably charge around 6.5%, if not more. On Thursday, we saw inflation numbers that were higher than expected. That followed a particularly strong September jobs report which boosted market confidence in the economy and mortgage rates from the 12 month lows we saw a few weeks ago to the rates we have today. So what's coming down the line for us? Well, one Federal Reserve Board member stated last week that the Fed is not opposed to posing rate cuts if the data warrants it. However, many analysts believe that it will take multiple inflationary data sets in a row for the Fed to change course. We can expect another inflation report on Friday, this time from the producer price index. This has the potential to influence rates in one direction or another. If that report is released before I publish this video, I will share the findings right here. If it's it's not there yet. So if you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to call me at 503-683-1885 or send an email to lauren at pdxhomesforsale.com. Subscribe to our newsletter and or our YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss any updates and feel free to please share this video with anyone who may be concerned about the real estate market. Have a great week and I'll see you right here next week.